Do you think there are aliens? Have you ever seen a UFO? So do you think governments are maintaining secrecy about this matter? Is there anyone among you who has managed to establish communication with aliens? Your answers to these questions are important. Make sure to write them in the comments, friends. Recently, a bombshell news hit the headlines. As you are aware, it has been claimed that the United States Congress has kept information hidden for years about unidentified flying objects, commonly known as UFOs, and unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs. This is a significant claim in terms of officiality. Actually, this isn't the first time. It has happened repeatedly. Some made headlines, while others vanished instantly. So personally, I don't find it to be a very significant revelation this time, but it's still important to contemplate and consider. First, let's watch the videos. Here's the footage. If you believe we have crashed craft, as uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries, yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this... To the UAP task force, UAPTF, uh, and eventually, once it was established, uh, the all-domain anomaly resolution. Did you notice the gaze of the man in the background? Very intriguing and quite eerie. Equivalent of a full bird colonel. I was my agency's co-lead in unidentified anomalous phenomena and transmedium object analysis, uh, as well as reporting to the UAP task force, UAPTF. Very, very intriguing. Eventually, once it was established, uh, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Arrow. I became a whistleblower through a PPD-19 urgent concern filing in uh, May 2022 uh, with the Intelligence Community Inspector General. Uh, following concerning reports from multiple esteemed and credentialed current and former military and intelligence community individuals that the U.S. government is operating with secrecy above congressional oversight uh, with regards to UAPs. My testimony is based on information I've been given by individuals with a long standing. Look, there are images of different people in different seats. Let's see two of them. Here's the first video. Very interesting. This definitely cannot be a human. And here's the second video.
As you can see, what do you think about this, my friends? Share with me, please. I'm curious. Either I've become overly paranoid or I'm seriously trying something. Anyway, let's continue. Come on. What happened? What's the exact content of the news? Let's take a brief look. The incident takes place at an official level. During a session held at the United States Congress regarding UFOs and UAPs, three former intelligence officials who have previously served in the United States military testified as witnesses. Among the individuals making revelations is David Grush. Before delving into details, let's take a look at who David Grush is. What he narrates should be taken seriously. You see, David Grush is no ordinary individual. He served in the Air Force for 14 years, worked for the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, and the National Reconnaissance Office, NRO, and holds decorations and ranks as an officer. In other words, we can say he is a reliable person. In the roles he undertook, David Grush also refers to his interviews with approximately 40 witnesses over a period of more than four years, claiming the existence of unidentified and non-human made vehicles within the government. Grush stated that he was a representative in the Pentagon Task Force, investigating UAPs until earlier this year, revealing that the government has been conducting a debris collection program concerning unidentified phenomena for years. You see, this is quite serious. The United States has an official and publicly acknowledged institution dealing with the UFO issue, and this individual is one of those collecting evidence there, meaning it is both a government-affiliated agency and implies continuous withholding of information from the public. Whatever is found or whatever they possess is already known by the government. Therefore, they continue to keep it hidden from the public, and in my opinion, there must be serious reasons behind it. We do not know. This official institution seems to offer a superficial service established solely to pacify the public. Let's continue with the news. In these programs, Grush noted that when he requested access permission, he was denied. He claimed that these vehicles yielded non-human organic life forms. He alleged the presence of intact and partially degraded extraterrestrial craft, disclosing that the government has concealed information from the public for years regarding these findings. Following the request for witnesses to share observations of unexplained phenomena encountered during their service periods at the Congress, Ryan Graves, a former pilot of the United States Navy, likened UFOs to small gray or black cubes within transparent spheres. Quite intriguing. Mr. Graves, a Navy pilot, emphasized particularly that encountering such incidents is not a rare occurrence and stressed that these vehicles could turn into an urgent national security concern. As you can see, the statements are astounding. On the other hand, the third witness, former Navy commander David Fravor, stated that in 2004, he and another pilot observed an oval-shaped object hovering over the sea in California. He described the object as moving extremely fast and disappearing. He also mentions that a minute later, the mysterious object reappeared much farther away from its last observed location. It's worth noting, of course, that the Pentagon established the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force to convert such observations into data. Later, it was rebranded as the Aerial Object Identification Management Synchronization Group. The United States National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, also established a special commission to investigate unidentified aerial phenomena, commonly known as UFOs. In the January 2023-2022 UAP report released by the Pentagon, a total of 510 confirmed UFO cases were disclosed, resulting from contributions from various institutions and the United States military. David Grush made a striking statement in June, claiming that the United States had been running a highly secretive UFO discovery program for decades. According to Grush, some discovered extraterrestrial intelligences are highly malevolent and have even killed humans. We will never fully understand their intentions, and the reason is that we are not them. But it seemed like something malicious, he says. When asked if any of these entities have killed people, he couldn't delve into details as it would expose some classified operations of the United States. But he stated that several individuals in the program have provided me with information suggesting malevolent incidents like this. Grush also made a claim that the United States government would do anything to keep its secrets, even suggesting that people could be killed for this purpose. The former intelligence officer stated that he personally saw concrete evidence that some individuals have committed crimes to protect this secret. 
These are very significant allegations. Grush presented his report in July of last year, and his complaint was deemed urgent and credible. David Grush is running an extremely unethical disinformation campaign, accusing the United States government of lying to the public for years. We are definitely not alone. A considerable number of flying objects have been discovered, he said. In addition to Grush's claims, other officials occasionally make interesting claims. Another former official reported seeing a UFO hovering in the air while their six-person unit was stationed in Indonesia. Another claims they encountered aircraft capable of distorting space and time. Today, a statement was released from the Pentagon regarding these statements and allegations. The statement is utter nonsense. Here's what they said. Pentagon spokesperson Su Gao stated that the Pentagon has no knowledge of any individual sharing information about UFOs being harmed or killed. Look folks, the response is truly pitiful. In the response, the official does not directly say no, but rather states that they have no knowledge of such incidents. Furthermore, the official stated that there is no verifiable evidence to confirm the existence of programs related to the reverse engineering of extraterrestrial materials or the presence of such materials in the Pentagon's inventory, either in the past or today. This response is highly nonsensical. The statement does not definitively deny the existence. They are playing a word game by officially stating they have not found verifiable evidence. Everyone can see this, and that's why this matter is not being concluded. Well, that's the situation, dear friends. While the subject of UFOs or extraterrestrial beings is actually a very serious matter, constant denial unfortunately doesn't suffice to dismiss events or evidence obtained. The only thing that's happening is that the topics keep getting longer as they unfold. For those who want to see and know, the evidence is all around. A bit of observation, research, and examination is enough. A group of extraterrestrial beings may appear like this. As for me, I am just lonely human. Research and shocking news will continue. I'll see you again in the next video.